Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Interesting one today. I really wanted to see this one because it's the reverse of a replay we saw recently when Marikar put in an amazing performance. I saw the replay length here not being absolutely crazy. 674 kilobytes, I think. Means it's going to be a feisty one. Is Boyka going to be able to perform the same um, master action plan <laughs> that Marikar did? The master performance that Marikar did in the previous game here against uh, Marikar's USA with Boyka with the GLA. So all the way up in the north, we have the yellow GLA vanilla for Boyka. And then all the way down to the south of Oil Rampage, of course, that is the map we are on with, I think we counted seven safe oils. Uh, down in the south, we have the USA in the cyan color for Marikar. He is going for a dose drop up in the north. See exactly where that is going to land. Is it going to just go and crush some workers over here, or is it going to deny any rebels? There is going to be an oil cap coming in for Boyka. No terrorist in sight so far. And the dozer gets dropped off here in order to deny this tunnel. Marikar behind this is going for double barracks. He's actually dropping a barracks of his own. <laughs> In Boyka's base. <laughs> of course he is. This is going to delay Boyka at least. And that terrorist might actually reach the dozer in time though. Ooh. Oh, ho, oh, Boyka with a mistake there. I don't know if there was any lag between Boyka and Marikar at this present time. But already that is looking like a bad start. Uh, I'm thinking this might be another stomp here. But I think uh, Marikar <laughs> might do it again with the USA. He's actually established the barracks. This uh, arms dealer is nowhere near... Uh, being a real one at this present time. It is now, though. It is now. Dozer continues the uh, rampage. He's actually got a missile defender. I don't tell me he's going to go inside of that building. This here from America so far is a good start. He's grabbing himself loads of oils. Boyka is not controlling this game at all. America is actually controlling the game. And this tunnel here is probably going to be denied completely. There is a technical finally out now. Is there going to be a laser lock in? Yes, there is. And the technical goes down to the missile defenders. This is looking really, really awful here for Boyka. All of the workers here getting crushed as well. And behind this, Marikar now dropping down the second supply. He's making even more missile defenders. And this rebel here is going to be denied. Oh, man. This is looking very, very bad for Boyka. This dozer is still alive. Although that Chinook is very low. I don't know quite what killed that. Maybe a terrorist tried to detonate. And the splash damage got it a little bit. But now this oil here is being focused down and the war factory is already going up for Marikar and there's been no damage on his side of the map whatsoever. Although this oil does belong to Boyka though. Missile defenders continue to hammer this oil. Chinook uh, is out of play now. I don't even know where that Chinook is. But this, <laughs> this is crazy. Marikar has actually produced loads of missile defenders and I, I don't really know how Boyka is going to deal with that. He probably needs a couple of terrorists. The fake arms dealer there actually gets crushed. The drone in the base gets shot down. And this is uh, looking very far from what I thought. I thought, you know, Boyka would be able to replicate what Marikar did in the previous game. But that dozer has just literally wiped Boyka out, it looks like. Is Boyka going to be able to recover from this? Behind this, he did obviously secure that oil, which Marikar's captured back, and this oil here is being hit. So it's not impossible, especially with this, this terrorist here. You could get a load of missile defenders, but you really need to be paying attention. Everything from Boyka now needs to be absolutely perfect. He does have this other supply, where Marikar does not have that supply, but Marikar does have the top left oil, and it's just producing more and more infantry, man. Uh... Is, is Marikar just going to be able to win with that blob of infantry? <laughs> oh, behind this, Marikar is making more and more missile defenders. He's making these. The arms dealer now is going down for Boyka as well. Uh, I don't think Boyka should be moving in with RPGs in front of the quads because they just get blocked. They can't even get their shots off. There is a terrorist now coming in. Is he going to just hit the ranger? Yeah, he does. Kills one missile defender there as well. More terrorists being produced. Just one simple terrorist there from Boyka in the end. In the, I mean, it sounds easy to to say in hindsight but uh, sometimes they get forgotten but if you, you just needed to stop that dozer that first technical micro is very important as well I mean it's not going to be impossible Boyka is clearing this up but it's certainly looking very very bad just look at this army here and look at the float there from Marikar as well he's also dropping down a, uh, almost did search and destroy but he's dropping down the strategy then of course it will be search and destroy uh, the Rangers have got flashbangs now, which are going to make these terrorists and rebels pretty much useless against this. But the Vs are already starting the push now for Marikar. 
Uh, yeah, like that technical before when the um, when the barracks started producing and there was like two missile defenders out. That technical really needed to get the crush and close down that barracks, and this whole situation would have been under control. Like not making a terrorist is probably the first mistake, but then also not not stopping that barracks in time was probably the second mistake. Um, and li little things like that add up, and already now Marikov's heading across the map. He's about to have search and destroy. And Boyka's going to have to deal with Tovis, with Search and Destroy. This oil, he's going to have to recapture back. That oil is going to have to recapture back. He also doesn't have the refinery where Marikard does have the refinery. We can see that down there in the bottom right. But these Vs are already going to start raining down damage. Search and Destroy is up. And these quads are going to have absolutely no chances. Look at the uh, XP difference. It probably actually isn't that vastly different considering how one side of the game has been so far. Marikard just executing a masterpiece here, but it's more just Boyke's little mistakes. He is less active nowadays. But yeah, little mistakes, not making a terrorist, not shooting that dozer down as quickly as he as he should do. And then that first technical has kind of delayed him so much that Marikard's just now out of control with the amount of units he's got. Uh, one of Boyke's oils there goes down. Palace is trying to be constructed there for Boyke. It is going to be an absolutely mammoth tact task to come back from this. Does pop a bunch of quads, but how much of a use is that going to be against all of these units here for Marikar? Ben Boyko 100% knows he's lost this, but he is known for staying in games past his uh, sell-by date. 1v might get taken down there, but what has Boyko lost for it? I mean, he took down f two or three v's in total, but he has lost all of his oils, and that is just a complete wipeout. <laughs> Oh, boy, kid. That game could have been so much different. Just a few tiny little things. Terrorist, and it, in the beginning to shut down the dozer, and if that doesn't succeed, just make sure you close down that barracks at least. You could have left your technical, then parked in front of it, and then any infantry produced by Miracle would have been stopped, and that game could have been vastly, vastly different. But you could did try a bit of a counterattack, took out one of the oils down in the south, and he actually captured one of Miracle's oils there as well. But um, that was even faster a decimation than when Marikal played with the GLA. So yeah, I, I wanted to watch it to see if Boyka could pull off the same thing, but apparently uh, apparently in this case not. So yeah, GG, well played to Marikal. Um, let me know what you think Boyka could have done differently here and how do you think Marikal was able to do that also with the USA as he did with the, with the GLA. So yeah, well played and see you in the next one.